welcome back to another tutorial with Manny's by Megan. Today I'm going to show you how to do a solid color ombre. I'm going to be using Rebel Nail Grace and Forgiven. Grace is the blue and Forgiven is the lavender purple. And then I'm also going to be using Rebel Nail Ombre brushes. I'm going to use two just to save time so that way I don't have to wipe the brush in between. So I'll use one for each color. And I'm also going to use the Rebel Nail liquids. So I'm ready to get started. I'll go ahead and open these jars. Give them a good little tap. And I'm going to start with the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Pro Base. Get that open. You wanna apply a healthy amount of Pro Base when you're doing an ombre just so that way it doesn't dry too quickly. So you might wanna apply a layer and then go back in and just quickly apply a second layer. That way it gives you a little more time to apply the powder and for it to absorb into the liquid. So we're gonna go ahead and dip our ombre brush a couple times into the first powder. And then we will just tap it on you wanna tap it on about half of the nail and it doesn't have to be perfect. You kinda of want it to blend. So that's what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be blending. So you'll tilt your nail around and you'll kinda of just tap, tap, tap until it covers about half the nail. It, even if it covers a little bit more, that's okay because we're gonna alternate colors and go back and forth and that's how we'll blend it in. Tap off your excess, and then we're gonna go into the second color and do the same thing. And with these two colors, I'm not too worried about cross-contaminating because they're both very light. So I think you could always just stir your powder back up if you happen to get one color and the other. If you happen to be working with two very different colors, you might just separate out a little bit of the powder into an extra container to do this. Because what I do find is when I do the ombre, um, I do waste a little bit of powder, but I don't mind because you get some beautiful art afterwards. So. so that's our first layer. And then I like to, I don't like to use any stiff brush or toothbrush or anything to dust off the excess um, because I don't want to ruin the work that I've just created. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dust this off with a soft little eyeshadow brush. And at first it doesn't look like much but you'll see it to come together within the next two layers. So next we'll start with the purple. So we'll go ahead and apply a healthy layer of the Pro Base to the whole nail. And if you don't feel like it's enough, you can go back and add some more for the second layer. I think one layer should be enough. So we'll dip into the powder and we'll kind of sprinkle upwards And you can see the color starting to come together. Um, normally when I'm doing this, I kind of just tilt my nail however I feel like it needs to be tilted. So with this one, I'm gonna bring the purple up a little bit more over the blue. This will help with the blending because I will end with the blue and it should blend perfectly together. If you tap it a little bit higher, you may have a little more control over it. We'll go in with the blue, and we'll start from the tip and kind of sprinkle it downwards. We're gonna to sprinkle towards the middle of the nail. And if they overlap, that's completely fine. That's what you want them to do. And here is our second layer. Looks like it absorbed in the corner, so I'll go ahead and just tap a little bit more on there. And then I will go ahead and dust off the excess. You can wait a little bit, but just for the timing of this video, I'll go ahead and move a little quicker. So, dust them off my fingers too. So as you can see, it doesn't look completely perfect yet, but the next step is gonna really bring it together. So 
we'll apply our final layer of Pro Base. And these are the professional liquids that I'm using. And then we're gonna go ahead and back in with our first color. And we will sprinkle downwards towards the middle. And this time you kinda wanna just softly tap it and you can kinda start seeing it blend together here in the middle. I really wanna concentrate it closer to the tip of the nail and less in the middle of the nail. Just kind of bring it up a little higher, that way it blends really nicely. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it off a little bit. And go in with our final layer of purple. And we'll bring it up pretty high and go ahead and tap it on this out of the way so you guys can see a little bit better. Tilt it here. Just tap, tap, tap. Tap it right towards the middle. And like I said, if you bring it up higher, it kind of applies it a little bit fluffier. Helps you to blend it together. I think this is going to look really nice when we're all done. Okay, so now let's just wait a few seconds because I don't want to ruin the finished product. So we'll wait a few seconds there. And dust off. Um, for the next step after this, after I dust off, we will use Vivian Clear because we don't want to ruin our ombre that we just created. So go ahead and dust off the excess here. And oh, it looks so good. Okay, so. Move this to the side. And we will apply our Pro Base one more time here. That ombre came together really, really nicely. And we will take and dip this right into Vivian. Done with our pro base. The next thing, um, I'm gonna pull out some of my lint free towels. One to wipe off the activator. I'm gonna dust off some of this Vivian. Take our activator. Obviously, you all are familiar with this step. Just activate your nail. I always like to cap my edges just to seal your work in, prevent lifting. really good. The next thing I use, um, I'll take my file and obviously if this were my nail, I would file to my desired shape. Let's give it a quick file. I don't think it's all the way dry, but We'll just keep moving on. Just a quick file to give it a pretty shape here. And obviously, if you know how to apply the top coat, you can go ahead and stop watching now. Um, that's about all I'm gonna do after this is buff and then apply one more layer of activator and the top coat. But for those of you that want to stick around, go for it. I should be done here in just a moment. After that, I'm just going to take my buffer and buff it smooth. And this one actually came out pretty smooth, so I don't really need a lot of buffing. So I'll just buff it just a little bit. And I'm going to apply my final layer of activator.
and give it just a moment to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and open my step three pro base. So after that looks pretty dry, we'll go ahead and take our lint-free towel and just wipe the nail. This will help so you don't contaminate your liquids when you apply your top coat. Apply one quick layer and then wipe your brush. Give that just a second. You'll kind of start to see it wrinkle a little bit. And then once you see it doing that, you can kind of see it. Then you go in, I always put a little bit more on the brush generous about it and then I go in for a more detailed coat make sure it looks nice and shiny you can take your time with your second layer of top coat finish gel and that's our final product I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it was super helpful Make sure you pick up some of those ombre brushes because they are my absolute favorite. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening.